Greetings, brethren, and welcome to tutorial number 22 on the feeling, which is on, um, this sound right here. Um, well, that's the first time you hear it, but it's just a bit more noticeable here. Is my microphone sounding about 20,000% sexier? So, let's get into this sound. Wow, I actually successfully resisted the urge to say this is a really simple sound. Um, not for long. Right, so, hammer. Fair enough. So I suppose the gist of this sound was I just wanted, um, a really weird sound. So basically the whole point of the sound is just saw wave, huge phaser, speed zero, automate the offset to do random stuff, basically. So, when I think huge phaser, what comes to mind? Deep mode, Hertz mode. And turn the mix above zero. Um, specifically, max mix. So now speed is zero, and now I can just automate this. To do weird stuff. So all the other values are basically just chosen to taste. I turned width up by the tiniest amount, not that really matters very much. And, uh, that's about it, ready? So, for future use, I'll plot down some notes and automate it in the piano roll. <coughs> Fuck. Right, well that took a bloody long time, but that's because I accidentally came up with actually a pretty cool melody. Get a load of this. So let's whack it in the playlist and do some automating. So as you can hear, I just sort of did it randomly, just so it kind of changes over time. Now obviously, yeah, there's not much point in doing that if you're going to use a phaser, you may as well just let it automate itself by not setting the speed to zero, but Obviously, in the case of this one, I was a bit more precise with my automating. Anyway, so back to the original. There's not that much left to talk about with this. It's just, um, distortion next. So, rubber. That's a bit more amount. A little bit of stereo asymmetry. Quite a bit more wet. And disable the filter. So that is, this is a high pass filter, so turn it all the way up. Now I'm going to put it in the mixer so I can turn it down and stop blowing your ears out. Right then, so the next thing in Hammer was compression, as always. A little bit of, so max burning, bit less medium, bit more high. That sort of thing. And the final thing was on all the moving notes, especially where it's like da 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 da, um, bit of vibrato. So, just sort of short vibrato. That's not vibrato, I meant portamento. Turning it on with this switch. Something like that. What have we got? Okay. So the first actual effect is an OTT. Now OTT annoyingly is starting to go... Uh, what? Okay, well, before I started recording this tutorial, the window kept going black, but that's fixed. So it looks like I won't need this screenshot of the settings. In any case, a um, bit of high, as you'd imagine. Max mid. Bit more low. And turn down the gain again for the, you know, eardrum destruction problem. Bit like that. 
Alright, next wave shaper, yet more distortion. And again, I don't think there's any real method to a wave shaper. There's not really much you can do intelligently other than just pick a random shape that happened to be a bit like this. Something like that. A delay two, because this was made ages ago, back in the day, before delay three. Um, so all I did was turn the time down to the minimum, turn the volume down. So what happens is, with a really short delay, it's kind of like, you know when you make a really loud sound in a room, it kind of sounds weird? Well this is that, because it's, I suppose in a real room you're getting the echo off the walls, which comes back a really tight, after a really tiny amount of time, right? And anyone who's heard of phase cancellation will know that that causes some weird sounds to happen. And this is kind of doing that. So just a really, really short delay. Now, I recommend if you're actually going to do this ever, use delay 3, ping pong, pan one side, turn off tempo sync. Do that on your dubstep basis. I also think it sounds delicious if you do it on a plug. But whatever. So a bit of delay. Okay, next is flanges, with every single knob changed, basically. So just maximum order, maximum depth, and then the rest, because I barely understand what they do, chosen to ear, I guess. So this sort of thing, for a bit more stereo width. Now I apologise for not being able to go into more detail about the details of why I'm doing all this, but, you know. Old sound. The very last thing I did was to get the da 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 That wasn't just a note. So, at the time, I used Fruity Send because of this dry knob here. But now I know you should just use Balance, which is exactly the same thing. It's just a volume knob. Alright, um, so yeah, copy value, as always, create automation clip, and then paste it on the max. Now I did the um, balance, uh, well partly I'm doing the balance so that there's a release of absolutely zero, so it cuts off as abruptly as possible when I want the note to stop, to give it more of a uh, 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 glitchy kind of feel. Um, and the reason for putting it before everything is because then it still has the sort of delay on it, you're not cutting off the delay. I think it makes more, most sense at the beginning. So, I suppose let's just do a... And then leave it at the top, at the end, so that when I'm playing after the automation clip, the volume is not at zero. So now I can just put this wherever I want. So you get the idea. So that's basically the gist of the sound. Where's the original? How close did we get? Oh dear, I've lost it. Um, you've lost the game, by the way. Sorry about that. Nice. So, that right there is this sound in a nutshell. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Hope it was useful. And yeah, goodbye.